Because you know, the Prophet ﷺ has said, a time will come when people would want to go to Hajj and they will not be able to. And this is almost like the time. You can't get visas. You know how many countries are already cut? They're not allowed visas anymore to go to Hajj. America, alhamdulillah, we still have a little bit of concession and flexibility here. But even America, they have started cutting very hard on the visa laws. So people got the money to go to Hajj and they can't go. They can't go. The other countries, they got the money, they don't have visas. They don't allow you to. That's why the Prophet ﷺ has said that when you have the ability to go to Hajj, the health and the means to go to Hajj, do it. Because you don't know. Don't procrastinate it. You don't know what may happen. You may fall sick. We may fall sick, Marie. We may have some sicknesses that we're not allowed to travel anymore. Or we may be healthy. But we may lose our money. And we may not have the means to go. So the Prophet ﷺ said, do not delay. Don't procrastinate. You have the means and the wealth and the health to go to Hajj, go, hasten to it. Because Hajj is the fifth pillar of Islam. Hajj is as important as you pray your Juma Salah. Brothers and sisters, Hajj is as important as we pray our five times Salah. Why don't we understand that? I don't understand why people don't understand that. Believe me, I can't understand that. We understand fast, Salah is important. Ramadan, fasting is important, but we don't understand Hajj is important. Hajj is a pillar. As important as Salah and Ramadan and Zakat. And that's why the Prophet says when you're blessed with the means, the health and the wealth, you don't have to wait to be a multi-billionaire, but the means to cover the expenses and your trip, do it. Because you may, we may not, we may have the money, we may be healthy, but we may have so many problems in our lives that we can't go to Hajj. So the Prophet says, go before. Do it. So I just wanted to remind myself and you because, you know, just after next month Ramadan begins, you go one more month again, boom, Shawwal, Dhul and it's Hajj. And it's not like you got to do it. Long ago, you could have planned to go to Hajj one, a couple of weeks before. Now it doesn't work like that. Long ago, you could have gone to Hajj a week or two before. Just say, I'm ready to go to Hajj. Book your ticket, get your visa, and you go to Hajj. Now it doesn't work like that. It's a whole nine yards of procedure. Your name got to be sent to Saudi Arabia. It got to be approved. Your airline tickets got to be shown. Your hotel reservation got to be shown. And then in Saudi Arabia, they approve a barcode that you have been granted it. And then that is sent to so your embassy in America. And then they stick the visa. It ain't like you got a friend in the Saudi embassy. Say, hey, guy, just stick this for me. Long ago, you could have done that and performed Hajj. No, you can't. If you do that and you end up in Saudi, you might be pulled aside. Your passport will be thrown aside. And you will be wondering what has happened. Because they got a system. Just to go to Hajj takes a couple months now to start planning it professionally. Even if you plan, long ago people plan no hotel, no, no, no this, no that. Even no this or no that will mean no visa also. <laughs> it doesn't work like that anymore. See how it's getting difficult? What are we waiting for? Fifth pillar of Islam? And then no fault of the, the Saudis. Honestly, it's no fault of the Saudis. When you look into Hadith, you hear the Prophet Wasallam say, you hasten to perform because things may happen and you may not be able to. So these are some of the signs of the hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The prophecy of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. But again, as we said, a lot of us just procrastinate. So in the second khutbah, in the next five or ten minutes, I just want to remind myself and you a little bit of that. So you know, we could make our intentions, we could make our plans, and we could start working towards that, inshallah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us Jannah without reckoning, inshallah.